Story time with Fergie and friends. Mary, wow, Fergie and friends, cannot thank you enough. What an incredible reading, what an incredible lady, and so much love. Hello, book lovers. My name is Mary Cumson from Storytime with Mary, and I'm so excited to be back here with you again on Storytime with Fergie and friends. Today, I'm going to be reading you a really special book about feelings and how important it is to stay connected, even when we're miles apart. So, shall we read Together Apart? This book is written by Marina Caboni and is illustrated by Tilia Rand Bell. So, let's get cracking and see what's happening in Together Apart. Today is my birthday. I turn four years old. Can you count to four? One, two, three, four. Nice to meet you. I'm Sammy. Ready for a story to be told? This year's birthday is different from the last. No friends or neighbours like birthdays past. If you listen closely behind the big brown door, you can hear someone talking, tap, tap, tapping on the floor. Archie's mum pokes her head out every now and again, telling us to shush it, then disappearing back into her den. Usually on my birthday, we play games and stay up late. <sighs> but life's changed a lot since the nasty bug came to light. The silly bug's name is COVID-19. We wash our hands all the time and keep things squeaky clean. Playing outside isn't the same these days. Can't run far, must stay on my lead. Don't go too close, TV says. Just smile and wave from across the street. We wear funny masks to cover our faces waiting in line in extra busy places. Our granny Mormor stays inside all the time. She just called to sing me happy birthday. We must be patient. We can't let the nasty bug win. Let's stay together apart, she exclaims with a warm, loving grin. Together apart? That makes no sense. I take a moment to think, then realise what she meant. Even from a distance, we can do things to make a difference. No need to be in the same place to touch and see real life. Even from a distance, we can lend a helping hand. Listen to our friends, make them laugh when we can. We all have the same feelings. Happy, sad, scared. Life can get really lonely. That's why our feelings should be shared. Being apart makes it harder, but never forget. Feelings are still feelings, whether you're a human or a pet. And here's a little secret. Listen and follow if you wish. Close your eyes gently and think of someone that you miss. Even from a distance, your good wish will land. An extra special moment, thanks to your kind heart and hand. Never forget this special power. You can bring joy with a simple wish. The power of kindness, even from afar, it's the best gift. I love that book. Isn't that amazing, Together Apart? I know we're not getting to see our friends much these days, but you can still stay connected and share your feelings with all your friends and your family. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our book today. I know I did. So I'll speak to you again next time on Storytime with Fergie and Friends. Bye. With Fergie and Friends. With Fergie and Friends.